Well, good morning and welcome to another virtual tour by Gold Acre Estates. Today we're in Costa de Antigua or Nuevo Horizonte. Uh, behind me you can see one of the roundabouts here and uh, the development of Coco Sol. Uh, very, very close and uh, in walking distance uh, to some of the little eateries here and the little bars uh, uh, around. It's a quite a convenient position. We're actually going to show you uh, a three bedroom villa detached in Ocean Villas. Uh, Ocean Villas is in a gated community as you can see uh, just behind me here and literally as you walk down the streets and through here it is just a collection of about 20 villas odd or so. In fact you can actually just see from here the sea and behind me is this corner position here look absolutely detached three bedroom two bathroom uh, fabulous deal it is on the website of goldacreestates.com so be sure to look over there if you look in the description of this youtube video you'll actually find a link if you just click that link you'll see the property details and the price which is very very keen indeed if you are looking for a detached three bedroom property here in this area they didn't build a lot of them so this is a really good uh, opportunity this one as you can see behind me here has actually got a rooftop terrace it also has a garage and a pool area that does need relining, but a very interesting opportunity, bearing in mind there's a garage and it's absolutely huge. Let me show you. So literally then just as you uh, walk or drive into this development, you have this position here. Look, really interesting shape with that swooping driveway, front door to the lounge. You also have a south facing garden, simply uh, planted here but attractively done. And there's actually quite a lot of terrace space here. You'll notice all the shutters here in aluminium louvered, white shutters, helps to keep the sun out, of course. There's quite a big chunk of terraced and tiled garden area here for this property. It would make a really, really nice sitting out area. And then, as you can see, it's detached. There's a side garden here as well. Beautiful cactus garden here, palm trees, and again, key point there is it's actually detached so you've actually got no neighbor on this side here you can notice then outside there are actually stairs that take you down to the garage and the garage sub basement area does actually have windows so you've got plenty of fresh air and natural light and as you come around here is the pool area this pool does need relining I think you should be thinking one to two thousand euros really from that point of view and you can see the actual garage let me take you upstairs to the roof terrace first. So as you come upstairs then, you can see across the neighbours of course, where they've got their pools filled and some artificial grass. The other thing you'll notice is a huge terrace up here with commanding views. You can actually see off into the distance to Coletta itself, to Coletta and the Atlantic Ocean there, some of the Elba hotels, and at the end of this cul-de-sac you can actually see the coast here and of course to the left as well. So quite a lovely sea view from that point of view. Now before we go in to the property I just want to bring you down to see the garage. Uh, you know it's not often that you actually get a garage here in Fuerteventura. Bearing in mind the weather conditions here we don't really need to keep the, uh, the vehicles locked away in a garage. However if you do need a garage space, there are very, very few of them around. And this is a huge space. Interestingly, there is actually an exit door as well that leads out to a staircase to that back garden area where we were earlier. And that's interesting for me because of course, this property then, this space downstairs could actually make an additional separate annex apartment. In here you've got the laundry room, there is actually a water deposit there, great storage. If you notice there's two higher uh, windows there for fresh air and ventilation. Can you imagine if that was actually a bedroom with a separate annex apartment down here that had its own access? I think that's a really really unique and key feature for this property. You could actually have somebody renting this space separately. Back upstairs and the main house is actually a three bedroom, two bathroom. And as you can see, when you walk in here, this is a beautiful room. There's a square section here, of course, ideal for lounges, TV watching, dining area. And then you've got these two windows looking out. There are some glimpses of the sea from here. 
It's a beautiful curve that the room has, makes it quite unique. Again, partly furnished, the furnishings are actually included in this case. Just leaving the lounge then, you come to the corridor that goes to the accommodation on the right there. On the left, you've actually got an independent kitchen. Again, not all properties have a separate kitchen area. A lot of them are open plan kitchens, but this one, you can see, look, everything included here. You've got electric hob, extractor, plenty of storage, fridge freezer there. Only thing you would need, I suppose, here really is to install an oven there. You can do that for about 220 euros for a fan assisted oven. Leaving the kitchen then, a couple of steps here in a natural stone, comes up to the accommodation. You've got three bedrooms here, one with ensuite shared bathrooms. First one on the right then is actually, as you can see, a double guest bedroom. Plenty of space in here, loads of ventilation, great natural light coming in through here, look. And of course, you've actually got built-in wardrobes here. All the carpentry and mahogany, a tropical mahogany, you actually have a shared full bathroom here, look, tiled top to toe that separates the two guest bedrooms. This is the next guest bedroom again. Two singles, mattresses there. Again, window looking out to the side garden. Again, so it's pretty private from there. And lastly then is your master bedroom and en suite. And here you can see it's a beautiful big double bedroom. Again, the window does look out to your little private garden there. High walls for privacy. There is built-in wardrobes here, look. And there's an ensuite here as well. And in the ensuite, again, lovely yellow and white tile, quite a classic tile. Again, a full jet bath in this case. And there is a side window for ventilation. So there you have it. I hope that was a helpful virtual tour of this detached three bedroom, two bath in uh, Villa here in Costa de Antigua. Again, if you want to uh, receive these YouTube uh, alerts, be sure to subscribe to the Goldacre Estates uh, YouTube channel. Um, the link to this property is actually in the description. So click that link now if you're interested in this property to find out the price and of course all the descriptions. Just a couple of points here. You're in a gated community, it's detached property. It's a three bedroom, two bathroom with its own roof terrace, as you can see upstairs, with views to the sea. And interestingly, downstairs in that huge garage area that's much more than just a garage. There's space there to create something and even to have a separate accommodation or for close friends and family to stay. I hope you found that useful. We hope to see you soon.